Okay, hi there everybody. This is Mark Bromley, your favorite author and artist of the Uranthium book series. Today I was going to show you one of my works that I was doing for the Uranthium book series, which is for the second book that's not out yet, hasn't been released, and won't be released until I have some kind of successful completion of the first book, uh, The Book of Lost Hope. When I have uh, enough success with that book release, then I will be releasing book two and book three. Uh, based on the success ratio of these book series here. And uh, this book, this picture right here, is the is what I'm contemplating as the hardbound edition book cover for uh, book two, The Book of Gentru. Uh, this picture right here is called the Oiran Deutschu, because that's what it's based on. It's based on uh, my experiences with the Oiran Deutschu and uh, trying to uh, bring that... Uh, that beauty of such a parade into this book. Now, as this book goes, it, it's in a little later part of the book, about in the first quarter of the book, I think, or first third at least, uh, where the big bad of the book is going to, uh, is basically about to lose the whole entire thing, but he's going to be rescued at the last moment by the uh, arrival of Dresde. Yes, if you read the first book, then you know who Dresde is. And in this one, it actually takes place more than 20 years prior to uh, to the first book. And uh, in the book of Gentru, uh, Dresde is there, and she's coming across this bridge to save the big bad. And she brings an army with her. Of course, you think this is a really stylized parade of the Oiran Deutschu, and if you know what the Oiran Deutschu is, then you think, then, then you probably know what's going on in this picture right here. But you see some interesting things, like armored clad guards on the side with spears and little bells on them, the chimes. There's some musicians in here and all that too, uh, going in the back. And you see the armored knights there, and those are the Dreshna. They're like a bird type warrior. Huh bird type warriors. We've seen that before with the Impundalu in the first book, did we not? So there is a theme going on here with our, with Dresde whenever she's around about these bird things. And um, well, here they, she has these Dreshna. And she's also uh, escorted with them. They're holding a big uh, umbrella over her head. And on that umbrella, there's some spiky bits. And it looks more like a weaponized version of something well, you have to read the book about. And uh, anyways, that's the umbrella right there. And uh, right in the middle is uh, Dresde. She's the tallest and has a very elaborate hairstyle with all sorts of pins placed in there. And it's a very elegant coat, kind of, uh, I would say, Japanese looking as far as Noiran Deutschu goes, but also French in its design and its uh, laces and uh, embellishments on the uh, shoulders. And uh, as you see in front of her, there's a whole retinue of semi-transparent uh, maidens that look quite similar to one another. They don't look too far different. And uh, they're somewhat ghostly in appearance. They're, you can see through them to some extent. And that's deliberately on purpose because they are actually called phantasmas. Uh, their real form is just like a ball, kind of. Some would assume it looked like light, but it's more pallid than that, and it's just pale, and, uh, well, it's kind of more spectral in origin. And they do shape shift because they are part of the altered fey folken, or the altered fairies of a darker path that they've gone on. And, uh, they are showing up as a retinue of warriors. And uh, in the sky above them, you see a whole bunch of flying objects with wings that look exactly alike because they are drones. Oh, there's technology in this. Actually, technologies are called magics because there's various different types of magics, like real magics and technology magics that just seem like magic. But these are drones, yes, and there's going to be an army of drones flying in. Of course, the Dreshna do have feathers, and they do have wings, but they do not fly. Well, I guess they do to some extent, but 
the uh, drones fly higher and have much more of a deadlier arsenal when they're arriving to uh, worsen the tale of the story to be told in the Book of Gentru of what actually happens and transpires prior to the events of Lost Hope and why the land of the potentate is what it is. Uh, also in this image you see a bridge which is uh, very much common. It's a real bridge out of the real world and it's spanning a chasm and you can see the brown sides of the chasm drop steeply as a cliff and they're just coming over this curved bridge, this rigid bridge, this arched bridge. And uh, in the background, it goes and follows a twisting road. And you can see the twisting road go up along the side of the hills, which is a real place in the real world. And it's based off of that. And I just kind of colorized it and uh, made it look more uh, animated within the cover because uh, I, I wanted a reflection of somewhat real animation, realistic animation. That's what I was going for here. And I think I actually accomplished it quite well. And, uh, well, it's a very beautiful picture. And uh, this is what I designed for the second book cover. Of course, you can always contact me. You can get the books through my website. You can contact me through Gmail if you want to commission some work, get a print of some work. Uh, if you want a posterized version of this artwork, you're welcome to contact me and uh, let me set you up with something, uh, whatever we're talking about. I mean, I do write these books, so if you want to give me a book show or something like that, you need some posters to help sell your book or sell this book and stuff like that, let me know what you wanted, what you're thinking, and what we can arrange there, and we'll try to do a release on the Book of Gentry once uh, the Book of Lost Hope is being more successful. Anyways, that's the Summit book cover, and it's a wonderful piece, and I'm Mark Bromley, your artist and author, and uh, thank you for looking.